So it's, it's, normal people doesn't live so long. <laughs> but because of Julia, Julia, and uh, American medicine, American doctor. <laughs> I'm still here. And uh, I would like to tell you that I'm a little bit older than our president. <laughs> and uh, because of my, uh, I cannot see very well. I'm listening to uh, news, a lot of news, not only political news, but uh, news about medicine. And they're saying, doctor, that after 30 years life, between 30 going down to, to 40, something wrong with our body. <laughs> With our brain, and uh, we have another pieces, pieces, pieces in our body. It doesn't work very well. Okay, so you, you can see our president and me <laughs> losing, losing everything very rapidly. <laughs> Don't, don't laugh, and uh, I feel sorry for myself and for him. <laughs> because very often he doesn't walk properly, he doesn't say what he's not supposed to say, and uh, sometimes... Uh, talk about yourself, John. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I'm saying some, something stupid. <laughs> Okay. But other than that, he's okay. <laughs> okay, now, now. So I was born, believe me or not, in 1939, in May. After May, June, July, August, September 1st, Hitler took some part of Poland. And the Second World War started that day. And in few weeks, Russia, Comrade Stalin, took second part of the Poland to be closer to his best friend. So Stalin and Hitler, they just, it was unity. And the world paid for that very, very dearly. Yes, dearly, dearly. very dearly. Okay, so next. After the war, living in Moscow, first grade in elementary school, I went to play outside my building. And whatever I play, football and goal and or uh, hockey, and if I did something uh, wrong, maybe, and then uh, my so-called friend saying, "Hey, you." Why are you doing this? You're not supposed to be here. Go, you know where? They say, go, go to, not Israel, Palestine. but go to Palestine. They say, you know, That's your place. And I didn't know yeah. so called Palestine. We in, high, in school, only in high school, it was a geographic lesson, geography, in, in geography. But I went home and I asked the older people, and they explained that uh, actually because my name was Georgi George Schildkret. Even the name was very foreign for that country. And uh, I understood I was uh, a, Jew. A, Jew, a Jew. I wasn't religious, it was impossible in Moscow. Only few people could afford to be. It was two, or I don't know, million, even more Jewish people in Moscow. It was only one synagogue. Okay, so I became Jew. And, uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I'm getting uh, close to eight-year-old, uh, our president. <laughs> okay, now, we had that Soviet Union relationship with Israel. Israel was established at that time. And uh, Israeli 
embassy was very close to building where I lived. And I saw the flag and I saw everything. And Golda Meir was ambassador to Israel. And uh, telling the truth, I don't remember it was she, but she was a woman always living the gates, yeah. uh, sitting in, in the car, very foreign car. And, okay, then it was a relationship, no more relationship between Israel and Soviet Union. And we had a relationship through the Holland, Holland Embassy. Uh, that time. 